Okay, so this is the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia mobile game. Now, I don't know if this is good or not, but I really love the show, so I really hope it's good, but I don't know. I've, I've heard mixed opinions on this. I've heard a lot of people think that this is just a cash grab, but from the start, it looks it looks okay. I mean, the art design seems pretty good. We have uh, Frank right here asking about the privacy agreement, so let's, uh, let's just breeze past that and just agree to it. So it's got an update, but that's cool that it has the, uh, the theme. Love how you can see all the characters too. We got Charlie, Mac, Dennis, Frank, and D. Do I have to hit play? On a Tuesday. Philadelphia PA. So it's styled like the show. What you got in the trash bag there, buddy? Did you find something badass in the dumpster? Oh man, it's just a bag of cash. Charlie, dumb as usual. Okay, we're cleaning the dirty cash. So this is like Tiny Tower. And they're using all of the, uh, the It's Always Sunny music, it seems like. So, we have Patty's Pub. We got a customer, now collect that cash. Oh, okay, oh! So we collect, is this like the, uh... I feel like there's a game that's just like this. What is it, uh... Like, uh, Adventure Capitalist and Adventure Communist? I feel like they're very, very similar to this. Oh, another goal complete, collect that sweet reward. Kitmans, okay. I guess I gotta wait for Charlie. It's like, it's like cookie clicker, kind of. But it doesn't... It's weird, because it's like it's always sunny, but it's not totally it's always sunny, you know? Like, I don't know why they would make a mobile game. <laughs> I, but I mean, I, I'm not complaining right now. The show's good, so who knows? Welcome business owner and cat enthusiast. So it's like, it's replicating... It's replicating the uh, Kitmans thing. But in like, comic book form. It's like one of those like clicking adventure games. Again, not totally it's always sunny, but whatever, I guess. You know, it's so cool. I'm getting a ton of <laughs> a ton of customers at Patty's. I think that's actually helping me. What is this? Beer? Oh, I can upgrade cards with beer. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> they burn the cash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're bringing out the trash man from that one episode. Put out the fire. Oh. Oh, I got Patty's Charlie. Oh, there are episodes? Wait. <laughs> yeah, he does kind of look like a drag queen. <laughs> so they're, they're implementing the themes from the episodes into the game. I get like 11k every thing, though. How much to automate that? 15? 15 million? What? <laughs> so every episode, I just collect cash and buy customers. Basically. What's Charlie doing? Oh, is that a bag of rats? This still feels weird though, you know? It, it doesn't feel totally it's always sunny, but I like all the callbacks that they have. And I'm not understanding the purpose, because I feel like if I beat this, then I have to restart. I wish it was like you collect it to the top, like Tiny Tower or something like that. Tiny Tower it was one of those really good classic games I had when I used to have an iPod. If you guys had an iPod, you probably had Tiny Tower, Angry Birds, Plants vs. Zombies, and a few others. But Tiny Tower was like one of those cream of the crop type games. It was just really, really good. If there's a way like to go endless mode, I would probably play this. But I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll get Rock God Dennis. We'll get... Dennis up here. So the beer can upgrade the... Does it upgrade characters as well? Oh, it does. But I have enough beer. Why isn't it gonna let me... Put out that fire. Fire's out. I'll offer you a nice egg in this trying time. Oh, so there's a lot of throwbacks, but I wish they had like some new stories or new jokes. I mean, that would have been kind of cool. But I guess since they don't have like the original writers, like the, the gang, like working on the game, they probably just decided to reuse a ton of content. Oh, it's Rickety Cricket! I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just tapping the screen. The thing with uh, Adventure Capitalist and Adventure Communist was that uh, everything like made, oh, gee, I, it's just throwing shit at me and I'm, cl I'm clicking buttons. That's all I'm doing. 
The thing with adventure capitalists and adventure communists is I'm pretty sure like you progress like you keep you keep on progressing and it just takes a little longer. Kinda like in uh cookie clicker. So now this cr I, I unlocked Rickety Cricket? I guess this game is just playing on nostalgia. <laughs> All the old episodes. I guess it's also good advertisement for the next season. See the thing is, if the game leads me to believe that I have no purpose in what I'm doing, then I'm not gonna wanna do it. Like, I can't customize anything, I'm just clicking buttons. Everyone's experience is probably the same. There's no, like, way you can deviate, but you know, it's not horrible. Out of all the mobile games I've played, this surprisingly isn't that bad. Thing is, yeah, I really don't know where this is going, so I would say a way to improve this is maybe... I don't think the episodic thing works. I honestly wish there was, like, an endless mode you could play as well after you're done unlocking this, but... The game isn't that captivating for me, I don't like just clicking buttons, it's literally a waste of time, so... I don't know. Props for them for making a game, I guess. Uh, wasn't the most amazing or original game, but, you know, it's a game.